what's going on guys? Clickwood here with the Fantasy Football Swagger Show. Bringing you guys some information today regarding the Detroit Lions running back situation. We're talking about Joik Bell and Amir Abdullah. This is a, a definitely a competition to watch this preseason. It's been a competition to watch during training camp as well. Now, Joik Bell is entering, what, his eighth season, I believe, in the NFL. He's 29 years old already. He's actually only really played for three seasons. He kind of bounced around different practice squads at the beginning of his career, but has really caught on with the Detroit Lions over the past three years. Unfortunately, he has actually not been that productive with the yards per carry. He actually has not surpassed four yards per carry in either of his past two seasons, so that's been a little bit disappointing. The, the Lions actually went out and did draft Amir Abdullah this offseason when they got rid of Reggie Bush in, at the same time. So Amir Abdullah, I guess, is kind of expected to step in and fill that complimentary role to Joyke Bell. And so far in training camp, reports are that he has done an amazing job. He's definitely outperformed what most people expected that he would so far this season. So what it's looking like at the moment is that this is going to be closer to a 40-60 share if not a 50-50 share, uh, and if it is in favor of one player, at least at the beginning of the season, of course, it is probably going to be Joey Bell due to the fact that he's more familiar with the offense, uh, and he does, you know, he he does have some sort of reason to say that he should still remain the starter, given the fact that he is at least moderately productive so far in his NFL career. So. Uh, it's worth noting, though, that the reports are, again, that Abdullah has played very, very well in the training camp sessions that the team has had, and that he could actually get some playing time on third downs and in obvious passing down situations. Now, this has been an area where Joyke Bell has actually excelled over the past couple of seasons, caught a lot of passes last year. He's caught a lot of passes in every year that he's really played with the Lions, so uh, it does make some sense that he would remain on the field, but again, Reports indicate that if he is going to lose time, it is probably going to be on those passing down situations. So what do we do? As fantasy owners, we've got to really look at this a couple different ways. First of all, Joy Bell's ADP right now, he's going at about 59th. So he's going kind of near the end of the fifth round. Now, that basically makes him an RB3 on some teams and a low-end RB2 on some teams. So, you know, for the people that drafted a wide receiver or two wide receivers early in the draft, maybe a quarterback or maybe they took one of the tight ends, they're probably looking at a Joyke Bell as potentially being their RB2. That's very, very dangerous in my personal opinion. The Detroit Lions offense is and will continue to be a pass-first offense. Therefore... If he is not going to be on the field for the majority of the third down uh, situations, you really have to consider the fact that you might want to consider going maybe even toward Amir Abdullah, especially in those PPR leagues where he could do some damage in the receiving game. Now, Amir Abdullah is a rookie. We don't know what he's going to do yet when he actually gets onto the field. But if reports are as good as they are, and you know the team is really looking at him as being a player that can start and, and really get some good opportunities even early in the season, there's a very good chance that this team could end up going toward him toward the end of the season as being the quote-unquote starter if you want to anoint somebody as that. It is probable, though, that these two will, again, just like Joy Bell did with Reggie Bush throughout the past couple of years, they will likely split carries throughout the season. So be very, very careful with whatever you do with the Detroit Lions running game. Do not go out and draft one of these guys and, and rely on, that, on them as being your RB2 in fantasy. If you do have them as an RB2, you need to make sure that your next pick is an RB3 for you so that at least you can have some other options in there. You can't be thin at running back and be relying on Joyke Bell or Amir Abdullah at this point until we see more of what's going to happen. Again, though, Joyke Bell, probably going to be your guy who gets the majority of the carries early in the season. We'll see what Amir Abdullah does, but either way, I think you got to just kind of move Joyke Bell down a few spots maybe more toward the middle of the sixth round. And then Amir Abdullah, who's currently going in around the eighth round, you might want to bump him up to being a high eighth round pick, low seventh round pick. I really do feel like these two players are going to be competing for playing time based off of the reports that we have and just the confidence that the Lions seem to have in him. Uh, so Amir Abdullah, again, for dynasty leagues, this is somebody that you got to go out there and probably target. Again, Joyke Bell, 29 years old. We don't really think of him as being an old running back just because he has only, like I said, played for about three years, but he's already 29 years old. 
And Amir Abdullah being a young guy, he is definitely the guy who you look for in this backfield to be the running back of the future. And if he's able to perform as well as he has in training camp thus far, there's no reason to think that he won't be the running back this team uses maybe late this season, if not next season, uh, and, and going forward as well. So hopefully that, got, that will help you out, guys, with your draft. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this whole situation. I'd be glad to answer them for you. If you guys are enjoying these quick little fantasy football update videos, please let me know as well in the comment section below and by dropping a like. If you are new to the channel, do me a favor and press that subscribe button. And let me know on Twitter as well if you guys have any other ideas or any questions that you'd like me to answer here in video format. So thanks again, guys. Talk to you again soon, and I'll see you next time here on the Fantasy Football Swagger Show.